Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I've shown you how to calculate the chemical shift in the um, in the reference molecule that is tetromethylcyanide, and the, in experiment, this is uh, defined to be the zero zero uh, point of the chemical shift. So in this tutorial, I've show you I will show you how to calculate the um, chemical shift for the benzene molecule and compare it with the experimental value. So let's get started. So uh, this is the input file, like uh, the same as uh, the la as last time. We will first run the self consistency calculation to calculate the wave function, and then you um, and then use GIPAW to calculate the chemical shift. So the uh, the input file of the of the self consistency calculation is like this. Um, it's more or less the same as last time. The pseudo potential files uh, come from the uh, from the installation of uh, quantum espresso and GIPAW and pseudo, you can also find find it in the same uh, directory uh, in in your case. And uh, and in the calculation of benzene, we use um, tetragonal uh, lattice, and with with the uh, x w x y z lattice constant to be uh, twenty five and one. Uh, multiplied by 25 and 0 0.5 mu multiplied by 25 so it's, it's still a molecule in a box calculation but we choose the box to be to be a rectangular box rather than a square box okay so there are 12 atoms uh, and uh, and it seems that this is also necessary we like the this is the uh, diagonal diagonalization threshold for the first uh, Self consistency calculation, yeah, and okay, so everything is set. We can first check what what does the system look like using uh, X Kristen and uh, open open the input file and yeah, indeed this is a. Uh, a molecule in a box and this is the benzene molecule as as you may already be familiar with okay and then to run the calculation as usual you need uh, mpi run minus mp2 uh, quantum espresso bin pwx it's imp and benzene one benzene one Okay, yeah. So I will not wait for the calculation. I will just stop it here, and um, and I will copy the output file later. And uh, the second step is the GIPAW calculation. is also the same as last time. We change it for for benzene, and um, we change the the method of diagonalization to CG. This is a little bit more robust. But a little bit slower. But in the end, you could also change to other things to try around. And uh, yeah, and other things are the same as before. We don't use the macroscopic shape to to uh, correct the uh, chemical shift, and we we uh, use the um, extrapolation of the um, potential file. And um, and this is another uh, parameter here. You can find the explanation of everything in the in the manual of this GIPAW package. Yeah. Okay. So to run that, you need to use the GIPAW.x minus IMP and uh, second benzene second. Okay. So yeah. I will not do the calculation here, and I will just uh, copy the calculation that I did before. Uh, there will be two output files for this GIPAW, and um, as I said before, the information is in this dot uh, out file here. And um, if you scroll down, you can see the total NMR chemical shifts in ppm. And this is what you need. You need to find the uh, hydrogen atoms here, and um, 
since for uh, in benzene the six hydrogen atoms are equivalent you should see more or less the same thing there could be some error like like here from 23.05 to 22.99 so we take an average average value that is around uh, 23.02 23.02 yeah and then okay and then the cal calculated uh, chemical shift should be should be the sigma of the reference minus the sigma of the target yeah and then you can have 7.36 using uh, using this formula and the experiment, this is uh, 7.33, and the error is uh, within 0.4%. So, so we have successfully calculated the uh, NMR uh, chemical shift of uh, the protons in the benzene molecule. If you uh, learn something from my video, I appreciate your like or, or subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time.